Hey, do you guys know about this Pandora Music Genome Project? I guess you kids already know about it. Anyway, I just discovered it, but I guess back to Photoshop. I'll take you there. Okay, um, so here's where I'm going to take you. One, we're back to our lawn image, and I actually want to go to all of my images. So I'm clicking on all of the stars and the no rating because there's another really powerful tool that Bridge has and it's located ironically under tools and this one is called batch rename um, I'm gonna be really hardcore about the batch rename what this does is it creates a new name for your images so what I see is a lot of people have thousands of images and let me put this in light table view so you can see it and all of their images are named 3735, 3736, 3737, 3738 and um, that doesn't make any sense because let's say I'm talking to the editor of Lawnmowers Anonymous or what was it again? Um, Gardeners Anonymous and I say you know that IMG lower uh, underlying 3747 that's the image we should use it's just not very clean it's not a good way to uh, to file your images and so if we're talking about just in the course of this class you'll take at least a thousand images I guarantee you so if all your images are named by numbers it's not going to be a very fun time cleaning those up or finding images you could spend a whole day Trust me, I have. And the other problem with leaving these numbers is that once you reformat your card, your memory card, and um, you shoot new images, your camera will continue to use these same numbers. So at some point, if you merge folders, you could actually end up um, getting a message that says, replace this picture with the other one, if you have two of the same number. And so many times, people just hit the button and say yes and that's how you're going to lose images so this is going to be something that if I see these numbers I, when I come to your desktop I'm going to immediately make you batch rename them so here's how it works play pay close attention not play pay close attention so first of all um, you want to select all of your images not just one because what, whenever something has the word batch in it, what that means is it's an automated script for a batch of images and you can name one image almost as quickly as you can name a hundred. And so when you're naming a batch, you actually have to select the batch first. And so I'm going to do this by holding down the command key and then using the letter A for all. And this is a really good shortcut you should get used to. Command A on a PC control A and notice they've all become highlighted now and then I'm going to go up into the tools to batch rename now here's the dry part um, you really have to read through this carefully the first choice that I have is where do I want these images to go what's the destination folder and almost always I choose to rename in the same folder because it doesn't make sense to have a folder full of 3735, 3736. Instead, I just want to completely rename them. So that's the first option. And these other two we will discuss in, in other videos. Next option is what do we want the file name to be? Well, that's the whole reason we're here. Is, whoops, see, that's Olive. Okay. Um, the new file name... Um, we want it to be lawn, which I've already typed in. Um, and we have this option here where it says text. And what this is, is this is a cell, just like you'd have in any other kind of database. And you can choose to put a sequence letter there, a sequence number. I'm choosing text because that's what we came here for, is to use text to rename our images instead of using a number. Um, these cells can either be subtracted, 
by using, you'll notice there's these plus and minus symbols here, or you could keep adding cells. Um, it doesn't make any sense to ha have like 10 names in one title. So I usually try and keep it down to two or three. And so usually I'll have one text cell. Oops. I think I deleted my lawn. Okay, here we go again. Oops. Yes, I have a lawn. Okay, there's lawn. And in the second cell, I actually want to put a number because you do, I want them all to be named lawn, but one through 20. So I'm going to choose sequence, not letter. Don't be confused by that, but I'm going to choose sequence number. And in this case, it came up as a default saying three digits. And since I only have 20, I don't need three digits. It just makes the title longer. So I'll go to two digits. And this is my start number. I want to start with number one. Now let's say I shot a whole nother sequence and I wanted them in the same folder. Since I have 20 images, I could start my sequence at 21, then merge the two folders. So there is a time when you might put another number in there, but for the most part, usually you begin with one. Okay, now this next option is rather complicated and I am actually going to talk about this um, at length in class, but what you should know about this, um, it's a checkbox for preserve current file name in XMP metadata. And um, basically what that means, the short version, is that when this is checked, this number 3735 on my first image will be actually linked to the image. So in other words, it'll be embedded in the image, but just not be visible. So it maintains that original data. So when you check that, it's just another filing system. And what this part means um, will be a whole lecture in the classroom. And of course you want to keep it compatible with Windows. It's already compatible with Mac because we're on a Mac. And the last little check that you have to do is, this is really important, is look at your current file name and then look at what your new file name is and make sure that's what you want it. So my first one is lawn01.cr2. Now the CR2 is actually a Canon um, extension. If you have a Nikon, it'll say NEF for Nikon electronic file. So don't be alarmed if you have something different there. And also this is key right here is it's telling me, yes, I am actually naming 20 files. If it says one file will be renamed, that means you didn't select all. So I'm ready. I'm going to check rename and there you go. I've got lawn 01 through lawn 20. Isn't that much better? I took you there. <laughs>